I'm not trying to start off this video the same way that pretty much all media coverage of Sonic the Hedgehog does. At this point, we already know Sonic's had a rough, sort of identity crisis and it comes to no surprise. However, that's not why I'm here to talk to you guys today. Today, I want to briefly talk about why Sonic Mania is so important to the franchise. Now, I know that this is an idea that's already been thrown around on YouTube, so I'm not like the absolute first one when it comes to it, but I feel like it's important for me to throw my own view on it before the game comes out this August. For the longest time, I feel like a bunch of classic Sonic Sonic fan games have come out and I've always seen people saying how much better they are than current games and that they truly capture the feel and the vibes from the classics that we loved. I feel as though Sega had been listening under the radar for a very long time planning on what to take from this and how to make it into something great. Sonic Mania is a game developed by the fans for the fans. Nobody knows how to capture the feeling of what made Sonic great back then more than those who got to experience it as children. Those children are now full-time working adults who want nothing more than to see the franchise they love so much succeed, myself included. While I don't think I'd classify myself as an actual adult, I myself want nothing more than Sonic to do good again, and Sonic Mania is going to deliver just that, which is why I think they're doing something so great. A lot of people got heated over the fact that it wasn't a fully original game with new levels and whatnot, which in a way I can understand. However, from the footage that they've shown off of levels such as Green Hill Zone, both Act 1 and 2, they still feel like very different levels, just with similar aesthetics that we're used to seeing. Act 2 is much more apparent with this, with the very different music and very different level design. Same with Chemical Plant Zone, which was just shown off recently at this year's E3. They're adding a bunch of new gimmicks and ideas to make these old levels still feel new and fresh. Then we get the dosage of brand new levels such as Studioopolis and Mirage Saloon, brand new levels that we've never seen before. Mirage Saloon, actually, is a revived scrapped level from Sonic 2 called the Dust Hill that didn't get into the final game, which was then planned to be in the Sonic CD re-release in 2011 in a level called Desert Dazzle, which also got scrapped and is now finally seeing the light of day under the name Mirage Saloon in Sonic Mania. It's just great to see so many different ideas trickling down into this product, and all I can say is I'm beyond excited for it to come out so I can play it fully finished for myself. Speaking of which, I also do plan on doing a co-op playthrough of the game with Blue Rush 1992 at my house with face cam, so you know that shit is gonna be lit. Anyway, thank you all so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.